Hey everybody, Ty here doing something a little bit different today. I got a request to do a kind of a mod tutorial after someone had watched one of my recent RimWorld videos. This is a mod that I've included with my own kind of mod pack that I'm using, but I've not gotten around to using it just yet. It's called Quantum Stockpiles. Um, it doesn't have a lot of documentation, so I've been playing around in the dev mode to kind of figure it out. So let's take a look. First, to see what you've got to get to get started, you need some research. So the first research that you'll be looking at is quantum stockpiles. This is a spacer level tech, so if you're starting on any of the standard modes, it's going to be a little bit more than it would be otherwise. So starting cost would be 2000 for me it's 4000 but I've unlocked it all through dev mode. It takes a high-tech research bench, so make sure you've got that. The next one in the list of techs you'll be using is the Quantum Warehouses tech. Similar, costs a little bit more, but also takes a multi-analyzer. And both of these are also using the Microelectronics Basics prerequisite. After this, you'll be going on probably to Quantum Relays, similar things required. And it also needs, well, doesn't need, but these unlock further storage capacity for you. So first off, I've built up a kind of makeshift thing to see what it can do. And one of the things I've got going right now is um, I have here a dumping stockpile. So as you can see, dumping stockpile zone one. Inside that, I have a few quantum stockpiles. I also have a quantum warehouse. Um, what these will do is gather up anything that is put around them. Originally, I didn't have the wall here, and my colonists could just drop things in this stockpile, and they would be absorbed into the quantum stockpiles. These things can hold uh, multiples of whatever you want to put inside. So as you can see here, there's kind of a bit of wood behind this stack of steel, and behind this stack of components, you have another stack of wood. The quantum stockpiles can hold up to four stacks normally, but through further technologies, such as these right here, you can increase it up to either 8 item stacks or 16 chunks per space. So it's a little bit of a convoluted mess, but it works, and with enough, um, enough finagling you could get it to do this with a lot of different things. So I'm going to delete this and show you how I've created what I created. Okay, so I've deleted everything up here, and now I'll go through the steps of how to create what I had previously. So first, you want to make a dumping stockpile, since we're going to be working with chunks. So I make this one 3x3, three three because the quantum relays, which are found under furniture, the small ones will be affecting what is immediately around them, so a 3x3 three three will work with one. Now this quantum stockpile needs to be set by the stockpile underneath it. So I'm going to set this one to only accept chunks. Stone chunks, steel slide chunks, no weapons. And it's going to be set as normal priority. Whenever it's powered, it'll turn on and it can accept any of these. And as you can see, it didn't immediately pull them in. They are all set to work with items from the start. You also need another technology called quantum chunk storage. So that is up in here somewhere. There it is, quantum chunk storage. So same idea as before. This one costs a little bit less though. But once you have researched that, you can press switch to storing chunks. It won't immediately take effect. One of your colonists will need to go out and hit the switch, and then the two of those have fallen into that stockpile. Now, if you want a larger stockpile, what you can do is, of course, expand your stockpile. So say we want that big. This will still only affect that immediate area, but if you add in more, These three will work on their own using the same 
the same settings from the stockpile underneath. But they won't quite work super efficiently. What you can do is once you've discovered how to work with the warehouses, put in a small quantum warehouse or a large one depending on how you're running your warehouse. This one will now work with all of these. It also functions as a stockpile on its own and it will try to balance out any of the uh, materials that are inside. Again, <laughs> if I had paid attention myself, I would have set these to... Oh, shit. Nope, nope. Stop, 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 stop. Cancel that. Oh, jeez. Bear with me. There we go. <laughs> so... If you're wanting to do a dumping stockpile, just make sure that you have set the store chunks switch. There we go. Now let's say that I want to set it up so that chunks will be readily available for this guy. First thing I'm going to do to make it easy on myself, where is it? There it is. I'm going to rename this as chunk storage. Now down here, I can put in a small quantum relay and set this one up right here to work with chunk storage. As you can see, I can go between all of my current stockpiles, of which I only have two. This one is set to chunk storage. I have that set as normal priority, and this one is also normal priority. As soon as it comes online, well, again, make sure everything is set correctly. I do not want corpses. I want chunks, but only stone chunks, because if it's also taking in any steel slag that might be stored in here, it's going to block this up, because he won't take slag, but he will take chunks. So. Make sure it's only outputting what you want it to have. There we go. So now they're set up correctly. And if he finishes this, and so in the morning, someone will come and grab one of these and start working. Just as so. But this is leading to a big buildup of things right here. So the next thing I want to do is set up a stockpile zone. So we'll make it the same size as the other. Follow the same procedure. You can put in a quantum warehouse, small quantum stockpiles, and you can set this one to take in whatever you like. So this one will, of course, accept all of those materials somebody will probably start throwing these into the stockpile. Yeah, there they go. And this one I don't have to change the setting here, it just automatically works because they're all already going to do items. So let's say that I want to now make a spot here that will automatically insert the, um, the bricks into this stockpile. What I need to do now is set up another stockpile zone. This one I'll rename as Bricks Input. And I want this to only accept the bricks. Where are bricks? So here it is. I want it to only accept stone blocks. So now you have a small stockpile here which will accept stone blocks. We're going to put on top of that a small quantum warehouse so that we can interact using a relay. So now people should be putting it right here. Yes, there it went. 
So they'll put it here or there, whichever one. But this one is closest, so they'll go there, and there's no difference between the level. Also, this one I'm going to rename as my item stockpile. What we can now do is take a quantum relay and put this out here somewhere near any of these. It doesn't have to be in any exact place, but it's better to have it somewhere in the middle. If you place it here, then, well, really anywhere inside of this, because it'll only affect on top of it. So now, this one we also want to accept stone blocks, and we want it to interact with our bricks input. Now you can see the problem. <laughs> the problem is that all of these are equal. Well, I can't quite click on that, but they're all equal. They're all set to normal. What I'm going to do is set this one to preferred. And that means that anything that's placed in here will equalize to here, but this one will absorb it. But that makes a problem. They don't want to use this. They instead want to take it up here because this is the preferred stockpile. What you can now do is block this off. So they can't access this. They won't try to go inside and put stuff. But what they can do is deposit their bricks right here. So we'll slow down and see what happens whenever he finishes. There we go. So that equalizes to here, and whenever this one detects it, it absorbs it, and the warehouse puts it evenly across. And then we can do the same for this as well. If we put up a wall around this, that can't be accessed, but if we put in a small relay, and we also put in a dumping stockpile out here, we're going to set it as normal and allow it to accept just chunks. Also, we need to rename this as chunk input so that it's easy to find whenever we're scrolling through. Next put in a small warehouse and I'm going to spawn in a few chunks. Chunk, there it is. Some granite chunks. Set these to haul and speed it up. So, you may have again noticed that I forgot to do this. But, this one is also not, not selected. See, ensure that you're doing everything correctly. Don't be like me. <laughs> so this one, we want chunk input. So it should be taking from the chunk input. Oh, and don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> so again, set this as preferred. This one will also set as preferred because remember we need to equalize. Oh, here's my problem. I was wondering what was going on. Again, double check everything, make sure it's all working correctly. So we now have a normal stockpile, a normal, uh, normal relay, and everything has set up correctly. Okay. <laughs> it can be a little bit fiddly working with this, as you can see, but as they put this in, it's going into the right place. 
So now we have a working system that can accept chunks input into here, which will be relayed because this is set normal, this is also set normal, but this is set as preferred. So it will absorb any chunks that are placed into it, they'll be brought over here, which will then be absorbed by this stockpile. Now this one I have set as also preferred, so it's equal in preference to this stockpile, which means that it will try to equalize over from this warehouse. And now Giggles can come along and grab stone chunks, and as soon as she's done making bricks, she'll toss them into this stockpile, which is set as normal priority. And this one is also set to normal, this relay, so it will try to equalize. The surrounding stockpile is set as preferred, so as soon as something appears here, they'll try to absorb it. Now, if you need um, some bricks to come out, you'd have to put in another relay. So if we put in a small quantum relay right here, and we set this one to our item stockpile. I'll pause it so that it doesn't go all crazy. Okay, it's set as item stockpile. The level is preferred, so again we need to make sure this is set as preferred. And then also tell it what you want. So we want... where is it? Um, stone blocks. Stone blocks should now appear right here as needed. So that is a basic system for how to run your quantum warehouses. Of course, you know, having it sealed off like this may not be the absolute best solution. Maybe if you have a mod that can lock doors so that the colonists won't try to run inside, that would be a bit better. But there are quite a few uses for this. Like, I've set up another thing as well here. The um, colonists, as soon as they're done growing their, um, their potatoes, They'll haul the potatoes inside to the refrigerator. Then the cook can walk right in here and grab them. And as soon as he's done cooking, he can deposit the food inside. Now this relay will grab from this warehouse any meals. And then it's just easy for them to come here and grab them out of that relay, rather than having to run inside here. So that can save you a bit of time, especially if you have a cook in one location and you have across the map another place that is um, full of workers and you want to feed them but you want to have all your cooks in one central location. So I hope this has helped anyone who might be interested in the quantum stockpiles mod. If you have any other questions please leave them in the comments below and I'll do a follow-up if I need to. Thanks for watching and check out my RimWorld videos if you're interested in watching someone kind of bubble around through RimWorld. Have a good day and happy rimming.